Hi, Kate. Hi. Welcome to your first Reiki session, correct? Yes. Uh, any questions for me about today's session? No. No. Um, so the way that it works generally is I'm just going to sense the energy to begin with, um, get an initial reading of the aura, um, of the energy flow, and we will basically address whatever comes up. Um, so I have def different techniques and tools and you will feel me work both on and off the body. Is that okay with you? Yes. It's okay to touch you? Okay, so just uh, relax, um, sort of lean back here as comfortably as you can, keep the eyes closed, and I'll just start with that sensing process. And right away, this energy is pretty stressed. I can feel it pulsating. Have you been experiencing more than normal stress in your life lately? I have. Okay. All right, so we'll try and just break some of that up, calm the energy down, just clear out. I'm guessing the heart chakra is going to be a little blocked. I can't even get into it, so yes, it's definitely blocked. Some gentle sweeping as I continue to make the aura. For today's session, I actually want to start out by just trying to balance out the aura. There's a lot of different colors I'm sensing. I'm getting an orange and red up here, which generally is um, warmth, but also can be passion, fire, anger, very strong emotions in the head chakra and around the third eye, but down here, very cool blue tones. And that could possibly just be relating to that stress you're feeling, um, you're sort of turning the mind off, you're going very logical, you're going um, very cold, very harsh to try and deal with that. So let's try and balance these two colors out. I'm just going to be rubbing some fabrics. So starting out with a balancing cool for the fiery red of the mind. These are effective because I work in frequencies. So color, meaning light, the spectrum of light, and the frequency of the wavelengths of that light produce what our eyes see as color. And so this piece of fabric is emitting the same frequencies as the auras. But of course, we are trying to balance out, so this particular one is a little bit opposite.
somehow trying to balance out that coolness of the heart chakra with some deeper tones. Right, slightly more balance. Use some salt stone here. And it's just crystallized salt. In many cultures used to ward away evil spirits as well as negative energies and there is a lot of negative energy especially in the chest area Pulling something out here. Just keep you straight there. I know, I know you might feel slight pulling in this direction. I'm just gonna hear a sound. I'm just doing some cord cutting. It's not going to touch you. Slides okay. these wooden beads here. Maybe just hitting you with a little bit of soft 
tool. So the one frequency I work with is light and color, as we talked about. The other is sound. So sound waves, the sound vibrations. also help us to reset the mind and the body, sync up with the universe. To me, energy work is just all about connecting, connecting with what's around us. Make up a couple of gem bags for you to hold on to. First, gonna activate them. Just keep your palms open just like that. Absorbing the energy in the body first. So gently relax them and just hold on to that for a moment. Just do a little bit of relaxing massage while that does its work. sensing quite a bit of energy on the back as well so I'm going to take the bag from you. I'm going to have you uh, turn around on the chair here so I can address the back. Right, I'm just going to move the hair to one side. I'm just going to be grabbing some of this gentle energy here at the back of the neck. Is where our brain and our head connects to our body. It's a very important point. Connecting the mind with the physical. Especially right here on the other side of that heart chakra. It's just pulsing through. It's still so cold, so I'm just going to use some warming spirits on you.
my gem wands. I'm just trying to pull out that negativity. Obviously things in our life always cause us stress. So much of it is you absorbing the negative energies from the outside world versus it coming from within. So we just need to remove it since it doesn't belong here. Just clip up your hair. to get it out of the way. See if I can grab that now. Grab that negative energy. It's really stuck. something that's been weighing on you for a long time, a stress that's been deep underneath the surface. Maybe it's not always as strong, but it's always low grade been there. It also feels like some of this negative energy is pretty new hasn't quite latched on yet, so that means that whatever has been weighing on you, it's constantly a barrage of things. So it's not something you experienced months ago, it's something that's happening to you daily. Creating a new gem bag for the back, filling it with 
light colored stones, positive energy. As well as one obsidian to try and absorb that negativity. Again, first activating it. Open the hands and just gently clasp that. And we'll just do again a little bit of massage while that works its way into your body and mind. Gently scraping the back of the neck, trying to scrape away any last bits of remaining negativity. Take the gem bag from you. And we'll do one final sensing. Just try to feel where the energies are currently at. I do feel that the aura has balanced out a little. Let go of some of that energy that does not serve you. There's definitely still work to be done. I don't think you'll necessarily feel completely better after this, but hopefully it just opens up space in your mind and heart to a little bit more necessary energy, less unnecessary. This clears out some of the blockages. feeling Kate? Good. Good. Okay. I think you might feel a little bit of um, fatigue, a little bit of, um, it's a lot of work that your body is actually doing during this as well. So um, just relax and um, feel free to get up whenever you're ready.
Thank you. Thank you.